I've been wondering lately, how do you guys calm your rage? Good morning, fearless fam. I'm having a rough morning a little bit. I just don't understand what's going on with my health insurance. Like, I'm really frustrated because I'm a little over a week away from making an international move and I have been denied free health care, which I think is pretty effed up because it says like on the document that they sent me that my income is zero dollars a month. I don't qualify for any kind of assistance because my income is too low, but I don't qualify for the free health care because my income is too high, which is not true. It's not too high because it's zero dollars a month and the limit is 1800 something dollars a month. So I'm really frustrated because here's the other thing. With American Health Care, there are certain enrollment periods and I had to apply for a special enrollment period. My special enrollment period ends on Sunday. They sent me their decision end of day Thursday, exactly 10 working days, which is the maximum amount of time that they have to work on this shit from the date that I submitted my paperwork. The only time that I can contact them to request an appeal is tonight, my tonight at 11 p.m. Their hours are my 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. Oh, Eric's calling me. Ah. I feel much better actually. So I talked to Eric for a little bit and he was like, maybe you should call your mom because she like knows a lot more about this than I do. So I have an issue where they told me I make too much and I make too little in the exact same document. So I think they made a mistake, um, which means that I need to file an appeal, but I, my deadline for applying for health insurance is the sixth. So I'm like, you know what? Screw it, I'm going to call them tonight. I'm gonna tell them, lay out my entire situation, ask them what the next step is. And worst comes to worst, if I don't have health insurance this year, I'm gonna to have to pay for it somehow, um, like in a tax penalty. Like if you don't know, um, if you're not insured, if you don't have health insurance, um, you have to pay a penalty, which I think is the most ridiculous consequence. Like if I can't afford health insurance, I have to pay a penalty? What? How does that make sense? Like healthcare has always been kind of messed up in America and I think they're still kind of figuring things out. And I'm not saying Obama is a bad president. I think I really like Obama. Okay, just throwing that out there. But this affordable healthcare situation is kind of a shit show right now. So all I'm doing tonight is I'm gonna call them and figure it out. Worst comes to worst, I won't have health insurance until the beginning of 2017 and I'll have to pay the penalty for the end of 2016. And that's that. It's good, it is what it is. The way I got to this mindset was by talking to my mom. So thanks, mom. <laughs> it's always nice to talk to her. I'm like, ah, I feel so much calmer. There's something about like talking to your mom, like because you know she like she raised you from a baby, like like the one who comforted you. You know, like there's something about talking to your mom that's like so relaxing. I wanted to share with you something that has gone down on my Facebook page, on my personal Facebook page. So you guys haven't seen it, but um. Okay, so I posted this question. I'm not asking this question to worry you all because there's absolutely nothing wrong, but as a human who is constantly trying to better herself, I've been wondering lately, how do you guys calm your rage? So I got a lot of suggestions and I'm going to list them for you in case you guys have anger issues too. Because Sometimes I get real angry and I just need to figure out how to calm my rage and uh, these suggestions are helpful as are basically any suggestion. So here is the list and I'm just gonna compile everybody's answers. Wine, running, puppy cuddles, reading the news less, a boxing workout, scream into a pillow, clean the house, yoga, nature, count your blessings. One of my friends with a child says, my daughter, she has a little baby, my horse, venting to a good friend, changing your mindset, remembering happiness is a choice, calling a friend, dancing really hard, adult coloring books, walking, cardio, Whitney Houston and the Spice Girls. Stopping and asking myself if whatever is upsetting me will affect me in a week. If the answer is no, I take some deep breaths and let it go. If the answer is yes, I take some deep breaths and set my mind to figure out how to change whatever it is for the best. A lot of stuff that upsets you now won't matter years down the line. Be kind to people. Give a 20% tip. Give a homeless person five bucks. Buy a homeless person a meal. Smile at someone you pass on the sidewalk. Say hello to people in the elevator. Take a long shower. Drink some eggnog. Revisit old musicals. <laughs> Write down what's stressing you out. Video games, dogs, and beer. 
I think those are all great answers. So I'll probably just count up how many of those there are and make that my video title. As you can see, that's probably what I, exactly what I did. Yeah, I thought that was so cool. I, that makes me wanna ask more questions like that on Facebook, because I feel like a lot of the time on Facebook, it's either someone venting a complaint or you know, posting an opinion or sharing something funny, or it's like always very lighthearted. I feel like very rarely do people pose bigger theoretical questions in the pursuit of bettering themselves as a human. And I don't ever do this really. So I am shocked at how many people responded. I think it's so cool. Like I, I'm gonna add talking to your mom on the phone calling your mom that's that's a great I'm gonna add that one to the list actually so that'll be in the uh, number above but um yeah this makes me want to do it more often and each time I do I will share it with you guys so you know I'm being very unhealthy for lunch and I'm having fong bian mian <laughs> which is instant noodles all I had for breakfast was a mango. It's a big mango, but it was healthy. I had a mango for breakfast. I'm having a very healthy dinner. We're having tofu with snow peas, oyster mushrooms, peppers, like super healthy dinner. So I thought I'd go unhealthy on the lunch. So I'm having my favorite flavor of instant noodles, which is this brand. I can't read it, but it's their spicy pork bone noodle. Uh, so I'm prepping that right now. I actually have not edited the vlog yet. I scheduled Twitter posts to go up like while I'm sleeping now through like two weeks from now. <laughs> so that was a lot of my morning. And then um, the whole insurance crap. Oh my gosh. Does anyone else think it's kind of weird that like if you can't afford health insurance and you get denied for some reason from affordable health insurance, and you don't have it, then you have to pay a penalty. Does anyone else think that's weird? I just think that's really odd. Wow, this suit comes with a lot of different packets. One, two, three, four, five different packets. I don't know, it's all gonna be okay though. It's all gonna be okay. So I've gotten a few questions in the past about my like tofu recipe. Very, very easy. I don't really know what I'm doing. Comment below the link to a recipe if you like. <laughs> I always love trying new stuff out, but I wanted to show you kind of what I do because I've made this dish a bunch of times and it usually turns out really good. So here is what I have. I know it's a lot of prep work. Cubed tofu, and as you can see, there is liquid on it. And that's because I basically put some vinegar and some soy sauce. Put it on here, and basically I just kind of let it marinate in a way. I know it's not like the traditional way to marinate it, and there's definitely better ways. I just like to produce fewer dishes. <laughs> So that's why I do it this lazy way and I just wipe up the mess afterwards anyways. So whatever. So that's the tofu. And then I've got oyster mushrooms. I got uh, a few too many probably, but mushrooms are good. So who cares? Then I got some snow peas and I have broken the ends off of these and peeled them. And I know it's a lot of work, but I really like snow peas. So it's worth it to me. Then I have garlic and it is cut into like thin slices but they're still pretty big so it's not like minced or anything like that pretty big slice of garlic and I I think this is called juliening but I think I julienned some ginger so that's nice then I have cilantro or coriander that is going to go with the tofu and then I have peppers and you can't see it but there's green peppers under here and these peppers are kind of in between like a like a really spicy chili pepper and like a bell pepper. They're kind of an in between. So I think they work out really well. You could just do a mixture of bell peppers and like jalapenos if that's if you're in the US or something. And I'm using silky tofu by the way. I'm basically just going to heat up these mushrooms. I'm going to fry them in the pan until most of the water has come out. And I will show you, there is so much water in these mushrooms, you don't even know yet. It's insane. Just like put them over high heat, maybe like a touch of oil, put some salt in there, and then it'll go for quite a while and uh, kind of simmer in its own like juices. Hopefully you can see this. I know the lighting's not really good and the sound's terrible because I've got the vent on, but um, this is what it looks like when you first put the mushrooms in. And it's really important to put salt on it because um, that's kind of how the like liquid is going to be drawn out of it other than like it's gonna be like salt and heat that gets the liquid out I think I got different mushrooms this time on accident because these uh, started to brown which the other ones never did So I added a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of vinegar just to kind of get it going because I felt like the pan was too dry Now it looks like it is starting to get some water out of the mushrooms Basically mushrooms like shrink down because the water starts to come out from the cooking process and so you kind of want a lot of that water to come out so that your dish doesn't taste like watery. I mean, I think that's the concept. <laughs> so the mushrooms are just bubbling away. I added a little bit of black pepper to it because I don't like white pepper. I prefer like cracked black pepper. So 
add a little bit of that. And I'm just gonna let them keep going and going for a little while to, I don't know, get more of the water out, I guess. And this is the phase where I'm gonna add in my garlic. Because in order to not burn your garlic, you need to make sure there's enough like liquid in the pan. Okay, I added a little bit more soy sauce and vinegar, and because it's steaming so much and I can hear the water kind of sizzling down, what I wanna do now is add the snow peas and then a little bit more soy sauce so they don't burn this. But the garlic has just gotten a little bit soft. Uh, I didn't really like cook it too much. I just stirred it around quite a bit, uh, added some more black pepper, some more soy sauce, and uh, this is only gonna cook for a little, little bit. My rule of thumb is that I want to see the snow peas getting more green, like you'll, get, you'll see them getting more vibrant in color and the peas inside will be way more noticeable like they'll be like they'll like pop out more kind of visually or it's not an exact science in case you can't tell one dish done scraped the pan clean now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a little bit of oil uh, and the ginger kind of let that uh, simmer in there for a little bit to like infuse the oil just for like a minute and then i'm going to add in the peppers and i'm going to cook down the peppers using like uh probably just some vinegar and uh, some salt and then after that i'm gonna add the tofu the tofu is only going to cook for like a minute or two, probably like two minutes. Then I'm going to add the cilantro, turn the heat off, stir it around, and I, that's, that's it. And if you're wondering, this was not a recipe that was like taught to me. I really just kind of came up with it. Like I kind of just developed it over time. So it's always kind of changing a little bit. Sometimes instead of cilantro, I'll use chives. Sometimes I don't use ginger at all, just use garlic. So I don't know. It's just kind of like gut instinct. So in here I have the peppers, ginger, oil, a tiny bit of soy sauce, tiny bit of vinegar just for like some liquid uh, content in here. Um, and now I'm just going to let the peppers cook down. I want them to be softer. I don't want them to be like raw peppers. Peppers are cooked down, time to add the tofu. Added the tofu and the cilantro in. I've added a bunch of soy sauce, a little bit of vinegar, and I'm just letting it simmer for just a minute or two. And then I'm gonna pull it out and this will be all ready to eat. Here's the finished product. The tofu and the snow peas and mushrooms. It's really good and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna dig in right now. Thanks for watching today, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.